Hello, I am Sushma. I lead the CTO Dev Mobile uh, in Intuit Bangalore. I also lead the Women's Network. Um, we have a very active and uh, engaged women's community in IDC. And today uh, we have Vijay with us. Uh, we're going to talk about diversity. I, I know at Intuit uh, we place a you know, high value on diversity, right? And I know Vijay, this is one of your top priorities. So why are we even talking about it? Yeah, so to begin talking about diversity, let me start with my story at home, right? Around the dinner table, the conversations that I have with my daughter and my son, both of whom are teenagers, is actually always lively. You know, they never agree on anything, but I know the points of view that they bring are all make for a great conversation around dinner. Now here at work, uh, the meeting that I had, you know, with the SPG team last week, uh, brought home the point, you know, most of the participants were men. And I was imagining, you know, how would the conversation have been if we had more women and more diversity in that room? Our customer base is diverse, and it's important that our employee base reflect that diversity of our customer base in order to make sure that we delight all our customers. So to me, diversity is important because we get varied viewpoints, we get richness of ideas that all lead to better products and more delight for our customers. Thanks Vijay, that's a great perspective. So why are we more focused on gender diversity? When we talk about women talent, you know, it's very obvious, right? When I look at the school results, you know, I notice that women often do better than men. Many colleges, particularly computer science programs, are focused on getting more women, you know, to graduate. And clearly, we as a company, you know, when we've gone to college and hired, we've been able to have great success, whether it is men or women. And if you notice many of the other companies, the great companies to work for, they all have focused programs on gender diversity. Why? It's because there is an outstanding talent pool that's out there. Yes, it is relatively small when you compare it to the male workforce. And in the war for talent that's going on, where we want the best talent to come and work for Intuit, we're not doing so well there. And so clearly, we need to do better. Thanks, Vijay. That's uh, really good data. Uh, so in terms of call for action, what can we do to foster diversity? Very good question, Sushma. And so I want to clarify some myths uh, before we get to the specific call to action. The first one is, you know, when I talk about, hey, we want to have a third of our population be women, does this mean it's a quota? So I want to clarify that it's not a quota, right? At the end of the day, what we want is to make sure that we're getting, you know, resumes of talented women in every job interview that we do. In the end, we make the decision on who's right for the job. It's not about preferential treatment for women, it's more about equal treatment, you know, when it comes to hiring or when it comes to career progression. The other question I often get is, is this going to delay our hiring? And to that, I basically will say that we've got to work harder. So what this really means, and this I want to address to the leadership team, is how can we make sure that we take that extra effort to bring highly talented, qualified resumes into the pipeline? How do we take the time to identify, groom, and develop our women talent? Because that's what's going to take us, you know, to be that great place to work. You know, it's not specifically for the women's network or just for me. It is for all of us, you know, it is for my leadership team. How can we build that culture that values and respects every viewpoint, no matter where it comes from? How can we build a culture that works harder to be able to attract that best talent? How can we, each one of you, go out there and think about who are those talented women that you were with in college or in your previous jobs? What does it take for us to get them to apply to Intuit. We can make this a best company to work for all. And so that is specifically the call to action. Thank you so much, Vijay. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Sushma, and thank you all.